Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. I am so happy to be home. It is amazing. Like, spring break with kids is not the spring break I remember. <laughs> it's a lot of, Mom, watch this. Mom, watch this. Mom, did you see? Are you watching? Did you see? So it's exhausting because you constantly have to be on. Um, but it was great and we had such a good time and it was so good seeing my mom and I'm not going to lie. I missed my dog. <laughs> my name is Jamie and I am addicted to my dog. I missed him so much that when we were getting close to the house last night, I was like, I, I was like, Michael drive faster. <laughs> we got into the house and he was so excited to see me. His tail was wagging so hard. He was like going in circles. AC, did you miss mama? You can't really tell. Hey, Bubba, did you miss me? Well, he's not, he's like Michael. He feels it internally. He just doesn't know how to express it. It's fine. I know he loves me. <laughs> As he smells his foot. He's like, meh, whatever. Um, so I, um, Michael had pointed out something to me in the airport yesterday that I do, that I has become so natural for me over the last couple of years, but I, he was like, that is funny. He's like, you should say that on Coffee Talk because I think people would think that's funny. I'm like, okay. So I am a person who dwells. I dwells on the what dwells. I be dwelling. I don't know what I'm talking about today. I need more coffee. I dwell on the what ifs and the should haves. But especially other people should have like if someone does me wrong or if someone doesn't do something right I dwell on it I obsess over it I get so frustrated um, and my what ifs what if I had handled this differently what if I had done this differently when things go don't go right in my life I obsess over the details and they will eat your brain I'm just telling you now the what ifs and the should haves and all of that will eat your brain. If you are like me and you allow it to consume you and you constantly are replaying scenarios over and over in your mind, you are stuck watching that reel. That is the movie you are playing yourself over and over. It's like being stuck in a weird, creepy movie theater you can't get out of and Pee Wee Herman may or may not be behind you. So think about that. Um, but I used to find myself stuck there. Sometimes I still do. And it was driving me crazy. It made me hate people. It made me angry with myself. It made me obsessive. I, whatever I was playing in my mind would come out my mouth. So it was like a constant cycle. So, so I, decided that whenever I would get stuck on this cycle of obsessing over what ifs and should haves and all of those things, but she and I, but she should have, she should have, I should have, what if I, mm, um, that I would immediately say like a mantra or sing a song to get my mind off of the obsession. So when I was young, there was a show, I don't remember the name, but it had a lamb puppet and a woman. I know that sounds creepy to some of you youngins, but when I, back in the 80s, it was hip. And she would, they would sing a song that went like this. <laughs> this is the song that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on, my friends. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was, and they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that <laughs> doesn't end. Okay, you get the gist. So I decided that when I start obsessing over the what ifs and should haves, I am going to start singing this song in my mind. What's more annoying? I don't know. But what it did was it would pull me out of my bad, the, the space that was weighing me down and still does. I need to make sure I'm honest about that because it doesn't always work. Um, and I would start singing the song and it really would make me laugh at myself. And maybe that's the intent. Maybe that's all it is. I'm not really healing anything or solving anything per se, 
but I'm stopping myself from obsessing over the what ifs and should haves and all of that. And I'm making myself laugh. So yesterday we get to the airport and we, we didn't check in before we got there and we didn't check the flight because we just didn't. And we were delayed two hours. Um, and that was time we could have been with my mom. We could have been swimming. We could have been doing whatever had we just. So I'm like, why didn't we just, why didn't you check the flight? Why didn't we check in before him? Why didn't they tell us when we got to the gate? Why are we sitting here now with three kids who are going to eat this airport out of every piece of food it has? And I just, and Michael goes, <laughs> sing your song. <laughs> I just started, la I just started laughing because that is funny. So in my mind, I was like, fine, I will. This is the song that now sing. And, and it does make me laugh. And it gets me to stop obsessing over what is plaguing me. So why do I share this with you? For one, for you to see that I am a total dork. Um, but more importantly, the what ifs in life and the should haves uh, have a way of consuming us it not in a good way and if you can find something to distract your brain from the constant movie you're playing for it just try it try a mantra try a proverb try a verse try a song try a joke i don't know anything that makes you laugh that pulls your mind center and when you start obsessing over what you could have done differently or what they could have done differently to you try the song because it really does help again not all the time but enough times that it that I'm salvaging a large part of my brain from being eaten by my own negative thoughts okay I love you so much today have a great day